Hi, I'm Matt Hamlin from Grill Innovations, and today what we're going to do is show you one of our newest products. You're going to actually see that at the HPBA show uh, 2013 in March. Um, and what it is is the zone griddle. And what the zone griddle actually does is allows you to separate uh, your griddle. So you can have it hot on one side or cool on the other side, or you can make it like a regular griddle and cook evenly across the whole top surface. Or the added advantage to the zone griddle is being able to flip it upside down and bake on it. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do some steak and some onions and some mushrooms. We're going to show you some really cool things with a laser temperature gun to show you how it works. Um, we're going to do a vegetarian lasagna and then we're going to actually explain what the grill plate challenge is because it seems to be drawing a lot of confusion. So we're going to, we're going to straighten that out uh, for you and stay tuned and watch this. We're going to show you exactly how this zone griddle works with this uh, laser temperature gauge. And the easiest thing to do is we're going to follow the dot. It's going to give us an accurate temperature from the far right. And we're going to just bring it right across that griddle. And you're going to watch it go from 500 plus degrees to about 130, 540 degrees as it slides across. That's kind of neat, but we're going to show you something a little bit more dramatic. Because sometimes the temperature guns, you know, you look at it and go, well, how hot is that? How, how much temperature is that? Well, we're going to start off a little demonstration. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some butter, because everybody cooks with butter, and they know when it's too hot. Now, check this out. We're going to put butter on the left side, the cool side. We're going to slide it to the right side, and it's literally going to vaporize right in front of your eyes. There you go. Okay. Now, watch what happens as it comes over. See, this will actually just sizzle up into nothing, and this is still nice and soft here. There, get a little far into the trap, but it's literally, you can tell that that's way too hot for butter. And over here, it's still nice liquid form. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you an advantage to this. What we're going to do is we're going to chunk down a couple steaks, because everybody likes steaks. We're going to pop that bad boy right there. I'm going to pop that bad boy right there. Baby Bellas. Portobello mushrooms. So now all i got to do to bring up the heat a little bit more on this side is I'm going to just kick up another burner and I'll still have a cooler end to the far left. Okay, let's see how this bad boy is doing. Go. Sometimes you just gotta make them happy, happy. What inspired me to make the gr Zone Griddle is we are Grill Innovations. We've always got to come up with new stuff. And as we had the uh, grill plate for the longest time, um, we wanted something that was different, something that would uh, do more than bake or broil. And this kind of gives you a couple different actions.
let them rest with the, some onions and shrooms. As most of y'all know that have seen me cook, I overstuff a couple things, so usually my lasagna hangs over the top a little bit, and I always make a mess. So I actually, yes, I know, I actually put aluminum foil on top of the zone griddle, or else all these little spots here would make all kinds of mess. Now that is a vegetarian lasagna we did. Uh, we're going to have this at the show. Um, found out there's a lot of vegetarians that come to a lot of these shows, and we're going to make sure we get out a good meal for them. Now I'm going to add some cheese to it. We're going to get all nice and happy. As the squares are very thin, as the plate sits on that thin area, it doesn't transfer the heat. I know some of my friends will be going, you didn't put enough cheese on it, Ed. Do it like you did before. Well, we'll do it this way and... I'm trying to be healthier, guys. The cheese been on lasagna for a little bit. We're going to check it out and see how it's moving along. Yeah, it is bubbling nicely. And give it another 10 minutes or so. Okay. Well, it's been about another 10 minutes, and we're going to check out our lasagna. And... Basically, you just turn this bad boy off. And let it cool down. This is going to be more like your normal oven. So you might have to adjust the temperature up or down a little bit. You might have to rotate the dish a couple of times. Uh, to get it more even, because it's literally just blocking the heat and making it go around. Hi, I'm Ed Hamlin from Grill Innovations, and what we're going to do today is explain to you exactly what the grill plate challenge is. Um, as we started with the grill plate, we had a lot of people that didn't quite understand what we could do with it, and it kind of went from the mild and calm to the ridiculous, um, from doing a key lime pie or cookies uh, to doing... Uh, creme brulee without a torch or um, burgers without flipping um, and it all started off as an innocent little thing where uh, we started doing some cooking and somebody says well you can't make a, a pie on that and I go well why uh, you know it'll taste like grill and I go well if there's no smoke you won't have that flavor so we'll do that so we do the pie and then it's like well you can't do a turkey on there and I go why can't we do a turkey well, because you just either deep fry a turkey or you do whatever, but you're not doing it like that. I said, so what we did was a wine, uh, or excuse me, a baked stuffed turkey with wine roasted potatoes. And then it was like, well, you can't do this and you can't do that. And that's basically what the challenge is, where people have said that we couldn't do it. Um, and it's gotten to the point, again, like I say, into the, uh, the extreme or the wild um, of basically taking a burger that's an inch and a half thick um, and not flipping it and cooking it through and through by using the broiler aspect of the grill plate. Um, and then one of the other challenges we had was a creme brulee. And I said, look, I said, we're doing a creme brulee. Um, it's a water bath custard, but what we'll do is we'll actually do the sugar on top of the creme brulee uh, without a torch. And then my mind started thinking, I said, what can we do that's going to be so over the top that it's going to catch everybody off guard. And I thought um, when we were doing some experiments um, with uh, heat displacement and how the grill plate worked with everything, um, we actually took cookies and we set the temperature 100 degrees above what they were supposed to be 
and cooked them in half the time. And the, it, they came out perfect. The, uh, the cookies were awesome. So now when we tell people, well, would you like to take the grill plate challenge? Some people might not think of what we're doing, but what we're actually doing is we're asking for more recipes. We want people to give us more ideas and more things so we can post them. Not that we're coming out with a challenge to any of our outdoor friends, you know, uh, or anybody like that. Now, the indoor guys, we don't mind challenging the indoor guys because that's just the way we are. You know, we have our competitions and they have their competitions, but, you know, we like to go that direction. Um, so what we're looking for is different recipes, something that nobody's ever seen before. Um, one of the recipes that we do is a uh, baked salmon where we do uh, salmon with a little bit of olive oil, some white wine, some capers, and we bake it. And when it's finished up, uh, we'll actually take a mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, and crab, uh, jumbo lump crab, excuse me, and we'll put that on top of the salmon, and then we'll actually broil it by bringing up the grill plate to uh, 525, 550 degrees. Um, you'll see some pictures of that later also. Um, but the, the best thing about the grill plate being able to bake and broil is being able to bake and broil um, with convection. So I hope this explains the grill plate challenge. Uh, makes it easier for people to say, well, you know, he's not challenging us. He just wants recipes. Um, and if somebody would like to come out and challenge us, we have no problem with that. We just tell them, roll up their grill and, you know, we'll show you what we can do and we can play. But, you know, just remember, we're all friends out here. So we'll have some fun. See if you can stump the grill plate. And thanks for uh, stopping by and checking out the booth. Make sure you get some of this food that's floating around here because I know I'm probably busy in the back doing something, but dig in. And you can find more information about the grill plate at grillinnovations.com.